The Shanghai Maglev train is the fastest train in the world and you have to do it when you come to Shanghai. You have to. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Shanghai, China. I just arrived and today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you into Shanghai using the fastest train in the world, the SMT, the Shanghai Maglev train. It's the first and only Maglev train in the world, commercially operated, and it goes like 431 kilometers per hour. I mean, this thing flies. It takes only eight minutes to get from here to Shanghai. It is the fastest train in the world, guys. I'm so excited. Uh, I, they're gonna do this also in Japan, but here, they I think it launched December 31st, 2002 so it's been running almost 20 years and it's the only one in the world the only commercially operated maglev in the world it's so fast it's like 267 miles per hour i'm beyond excited to ride this thing unfortunately it's only eight minutes i wish it was like we were traveling across you know the country and it would take like two hours and you travel everywhere but yeah i'm excited i mean this is the fastest way to enter the city from there we get to a station it's a little hard to pronounce but it's a uh, it's a main station in the center of Shanghai and then from there you can get on the metro line, you can catch buses. The ticket for the maglev costs 50 yen for regular economy or 100 for VIP and that's one way. You can get round trip but round trip's only uh, like you can only use it for seven days and I'm not gonna come back in seven days, I come back in 10 days so I couldn't get the round trip. So it's 100 yen which is not bad. I think the exchange rate right now is six to one. So it's like, I don't know what that is, like 14 bucks right now. It's pretty good. There's one every 15 to 20 minutes, so there's like never ending maglevs coming in and out. So it's really easy to get on it. You know, you probably would never miss it. So VIP is car number one, and there's no one here. Like, I'm completely alone. Guys, this is so cool. I am alone on this cart and we're leaving any second now. And right here, as you can see, it tells you exactly how fast you're going. So we're gonna see it go up to 430 kilometers. 430 kilometers, 267 miles an hour, eight minutes, only eight minute ride. I can like record the whole time and see how this works out. This is so cool guys, so cool. Maglev train, I'm so excited, like, for real. This is going so fast, we're already going 135 kilometers, keeps going up, keeps going up, 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 wow. We're just zipping through. I've never, and you can't hear anything. It's like, it's way less sound than the bullet train for sure. And yeah, it's way easier to do this. I mean, the only problem is once we get there, we have to like obviously get an Uber or a Metro or a bus, but that's fine. I mean, this is the experience. This is something you have to do when you come to Shanghai, when you land, take the Mac left, come in VIP, Definitely easier, super luxurious here. I mean, there's no one here serving you anything because it's only eight minute ride. So literally, I'm gonna just talk for eight minutes here. No, I'm joking, let's check out the view. So, so I tell you guys, I've never felt this experience. So like, it starts to turn, right? And you're like, you're levitating, right? So the magma levitates off the rail and you really have to be sitting down because if, you do, if you're standing up while it's moving like that, you could really just like hurt yourself. Wow, we are just like, it's going ridiculously fast. Right now we're at 301. I think they're maxing out 301 right now. It's not going to go 430. I don't know why, but this is the, the speed we're going. Eight minutes, that's all it takes, eight minutes. And again, the way to get to the maglev is once you exit the airport, once you, you know, go through immigration, get out of your bags and exit, everywhere you look, there's a maglev sign, maglev, 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 just follow that. Then you get to a ticket counter. It's very easy, they all speak English, you pay, you go in, you go down, and every 15 minutes there's one. So there's always one waiting there. So you just get on, wait, go. And unfortunately for us, our eight minute journey is over. Eight minutes, that's all it is. I really wish it was longer. Wow. And uh, the only other place in the world that's gonna have the maglev is gonna be Japan. Japan's gonna have it in 2027, and it's gonna connect Tokyo with Osaka, and that's gonna take like 67 minutes. Right now it takes two and a half hours, so it's gonna cut the time in half. And yeah, I mean, I can't believe this has been in operation since 2002 and no one else has done it in the world. It's pretty remarkable. Let's continue. So, 
what we're gonna do now is instead of catching a bus or a metro, I'm gonna get on Uber. I'm gonna book an Uber and go to my apartment at People Square. People Square is one of the main squares here in Shanghai. I stayed there last time when I came with my father, so you know I know the area a little better, so I decided why not book an Airbnb there. I did it and the Airbnb was really cheap, only 30 US dollars per night. 30 US, super cheap. All right guys, so I'm having a big issue right now. Uh, there's no Uber, so, and to get to where I have to go, I have to switch twice with all this luggage, so I literally have to catch a taxi, and he has to take me to an ATM so I can pay him unless he can take a credit card. Oh my God, this is, this is becoming crazy. My bag barely fits in this escalator. Did you take credit card, right? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. Uh, ni hao, ni hao. Hen hao, hen hao. I know a little bit of Mandarin. I don't know too much. But I don't know where you're taking me, dude. This is crazy. I'm going through like a like a scooter haven right here. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Please. Hello? Okay. Everything good? Thank you. So I got in a taxi and I'm flying uh, to where I have to go. I actually have a bit of an issue. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, the lens that I'm using is not the biggest lens that I have because it broke yesterday. It fell and it <laughs> cracked. So I'm actually going to a camera like mall. I'm meeting a friend, uh, a fan from Sweden who lives here. I'm meeting her there at the mall and it's a camera mall and they have the lens I need. I like, and I brought the camera too. So I literally bought this, this lens and the camera yesterday to come on this trip so I can film it. And luckily I can return this lens. I, I probably have to pay like a restocking fee or something, but it's fine. I mean, I, I'm, I didn't want to like lose the trip, right? Okay, my friend, so 280. So 280, I don't know what that is. It's like 30 bucks or something. It's fine. Gotta do what I gotta do. Not, they close in like an hour and a half, so. I get there. We've been here in the taxi for about 30 minutes so far. Just the traffic has been so bad. Right now we're actually going under a tunnel to get to the other side of Shanghai. It's main center right now. We were like on the Pudong side and now we're getting to the center. Pudong side is like more of the financial district. That's where like Shanghai Tower is, Shanghai Financial Center. And uh, yeah, we're going through a pretty big tunnel straight under the canal here or the whatever this is. It's like a, a river? Yeah, it's a river. Sorry guys, I am dead tired. This has been a super long day. I just need to get my other lens. As you can see, this is not this is not wide enough for me right now. After about an hour drive, we made it here to the camera store. Luckily, I know because my friends here that they have it. So I'm, we're gonna walk in. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna walk back out, get another taxi, and go to my Airbnb. And here we go. Got the new lens. And here's my friend. <laughs> Nia, right? Nia. Yeah, Nia. Nia oh from God. Stockholm or? Yeah, from yeah. Stockholm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So she speaks Mandarin. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, you can't get around China without Mandarin. <laughs> so this is basically a camera mall. There's five floors. And wow, it's ridiculous. You can basically find everything, every major brand's here. And what a difference this wide lens makes, huh? We're catching another taxi because there's no other way to get around right now. I mean, it's too many connections not on the metro. It weighs, it weighs. Okay, let's get in. Shanghai. So Nia, tell me about the street food. What's happening, you were telling me. It's gone. It, it's, it's, it's completely gone. I don't know why they changed, but like they have some new rule that you're not allowed to sell food on the street. Maybe, yeah, because of the food. Sanitary, like hygiene. Sanitary. That's the biggest issue with street food is that it's it's never completely sanitary. You know, they're cooking on the street, they're touching with their hands, touching the money with their hands. I mean, it's like that. There's still a hole in the walls, so you can eat like street food, breakfast and stuff like in those type of places that are not like on the street, but it's still street food, like what they used to serve for street food. So you can Perfect. still find. People Square. Yeah. It's like a famous square, right? Yeah. Maybe there will be something. I saw some places, like some hole in the walls for breakfast around that area. So okay. You can definitely have some like authentic Chinese for breakfast. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Okay. So we're here in People Square, and it's a it's a little confusing. Airbnb in Asia is always really confusing because the addresses are in the language, and we're trying to find this place, and it's like back here somewhere hidden. And we're like going through some parking lot. But hopefully it's here somewhere. Okay, because you have to go to the back of a building, there's a black box, you have to put in the code, you have to go in, you have to get the code, the keys. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Shi uh, Okay. Keys, thank God. 
up there somewhere. So I'm on the top level and I, this is like a super authentic Airbnb. This is nuts. Four floors, I think. I saw four floors. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, so here we made it to my studio apartment here by People Square. It's like a tiny, tiny apartment on the rooftop. I mean, just to get in here was crazy. I mean, tiny stairway, super impossible to get up here with the luggage. But here I am, and this is it. I mean, got a little section here to chill, lay down. Here's my bed. And then up here, and which is basically outside, is where the bathroom is. Here at the bathroom, toilet, another area to chill. We have some like hair dryers. We have some extra sheets in case it gets too cold. The shower's in here, faucet's here, that's it. Yeah guys, I mean, that was an adventure today. We took the maglev, the fastest operational train in the world, for the first one and the only one in the world, maglev. Shanghai maglev train. Oh, what an incredible experience. Only eight minutes, but you have to do it when you come to Shanghai. Take it to the center, and then from there you have to either catch a metro, taxi, and unfortunately you can't use Uber. And then we went and we bought a lens. I need this lens, it feels so much better with this. Before it was like this, and now it's like boom, right here. And, and then yeah, we got here to People Square, to my apartment. Uh, I booked this place on Airbnb, only 30 bucks a night, super cheap. I mean, obviously very authentic. I, this, for me, this is perfect because this is what I need. Just a place to like leave my stuff, sleep, and that's it. Well, guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Shanghai, China. Excited.